Hey guys, welcome back and we're back again with another interesting video. In this video, we are going to implement uh, uh, our own custom encryption algorithm. Uh, we will be using PHP to do it. So let's get started then. Okay, let me make a class first. Uh, let's call it, what do we call it? Custom encryptor. This should be fine. And we will make some methods inside this class, but let's first go through the how we are we are going to call these methods inside the class. So first, I need to create a new instance encryptor equals new class name. So I have an object with me. Now let's do one thing. Let's pass a private key. So we need a private key in order to encrypt or decrypt the meshes. So let me let me use a static one for now, something like my secret key one two three. This will be a private key, so it's, it's it will be secret. Nobody would know it. And I will make an attribute here with private key. Uh, let's make a constructor then function construct i will need some text here plain text let's not call it plain text we can call it key and then assign it to the this key equals key perfect so this should be fine now let me have a text original text the text that i want to encrypt so this can be hello is is a secret message all right now encryptor we want to encrypt it so i'll call it encrypt method and the parameter would be original text and what it will return to me it will return me an encrypted text perfect so i need to implement this method in the inside the class public function the method name and it will have plain text as the parameter okay so what i will do here is i'll call another function which i will call xr encrypt encrypt it will have plain text and the private key it will return me some uh, text uh, which I will say cipher text and then finally I can return base 64 encode the cipher text but in order to make it work I need to define this function as well public function XR encrypt and it will also have two parameters data and key now this is the important part let's first initialize the output with blank string then for i equals zero key length equals string length of key and i is less than a string length dollar i is less than a string length of data i plus plus now we will operate you know this is uh, doing the uh, loop for each character in the key and data so uh, we are going to uh, implement a simple xor encryption so xor you know you, know, you must know about xor if you could look at the truth table of XR, XR is also known as inequality detector. It means, let's build a truth table. Suppose this is X and Y, and this is XR. So if X is 0, Y is 0, X is 0, Y is 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So inequality detector, it means if the inputs are unequal, then it will return 1. It means this is unequal so the output will be one this is not equal so output will be one in case of equal the output would be zero this is what xr does so we are going to implement the same thing over here 
B twice XR operation. So output equals we'll concat it data I and then key I percentage key length. So this should be the B twice XR encryption and finally we can return output. Let's see if it is working or not. I should get some encrypted text over here. No. So let me see what is the error. Error reporting e all. I set error reporting one. This should show me the error, exact error. No, still not. I, oh, and this is key. Let's see what's the problem here. What if I remove everything here? Yeah, the problem is in this line, these lines. Okay. This should be comma. Output equals zero for i equals zero and key length equals string length of key where up to i is less than string length of data i plus plus. Output equals data i key dollar i percentage key length i think this should be fine oh i forgot dollar here perfect so we now have the encrypted text so whenever we want to pass this message in encrypted form, we can easily pass this text. And what if we want to decrypt it? Let's try and decrypt it now. So, the decrypted text would be, uh, I'll make use of the object again, decrypt function. And it will also have the encrypted text. I can show the decrypted text here. Perfect. Now, as you can see, I need to make this function here public function decrypt, and it will have this ciphertext. So, this will be easy now. We just need to do the reverse of encryption. So, let me first decode it. So, ciphertext equals base64 decode is ciphertext because we base we did base is 64 in code so now i am doing base 64 decode now for the xor is encrypt this will be the same thing what i can do is return this xor encrypt not the plain text but the ciphertext and this key perfect see Whatever message I write here, hello, new secret message. And let me show both of them. Encrypted text. Let me love all of them. That should be fine. So, go. Original text. Original text is the original text. Now I can copy it easily. Now the encrypted text. And finally, the decrypted text.
let's see see the original text is hello new secret message the encrypted text is this one and the decrypted text is this one so our encryption is working perfect so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, i provided a link in the video description below where you can find the source code for this uh, tutorial and don't forget to subscribe us for more interesting and useful videos like this this much for today cheers guys